Good morning, Tar Heel students. I hope you're enjoying your asynchronous day, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow again on, back on Zoom. So your assignment for today is to complete and submit the Ancient Egyptian Religion web quest using the Kami extension. In order to access the assignment, you're going to open um, the web quest in a new window using the link located at the very bottom of this page. You're also going to use the text box feature to be able to type on the PDF file. The first thing that you're going to do is add a text box at the top of the document and type your first and last name. Remember, it's a minus 10 points for no name and a minus 5 points for no first or last name. Next, click on the website links in the directions to access the reading information for each color-coded section. Finally, answer the WebQuest questions based on the content you learned from the readings. And the majority of your answers are expected to be in a complete sentence. So I'm going to show you what that's going to look like. When you open and load it in Kami, you'll notice that there are directions at the very top, right below the name blank. Again, the first thing that you're going to do is click on the link and it's going to open that website in a new tab. Those website links are also located on the Canvas page as a list. So once you open that, you'll notice the directions tell you to go to Gods and Goddesses. Once you answer questions one and two in a complete sentence, you're then going to click on the Explore tab. Part two of that section asks you to choose three gods or goddesses to learn more about from the list. You're going to identify their name and tell me what he or she was the god or goddess of. In addition, you also have to add a picture. To do that, you're going to click Add Media. If you choose the capital G, you'll be able to search for an image straight from Google. I'm going to choose the most important of the Egyptian gods, and that is Ra. Once you select the image that you want, you're going to click the Select button, and that is going to be available for you to add to the box. Notice that you can also resize that image make it smaller, drag it, and drop it. Once you're done with the first part that uh, is noted in yellow, you're going to continue to page two and follow the uh, directions for the green section, the pharaohs and the mummies. There is a link and for some, you may not be able to access this because Adobe Flash Player is blocked. Unfortunately, that is the case for some computers. So I have embedded or added a YouTube video for you to be able to watch to see exactly what that uh, section was about. And it will help you to answer those two questions. Notice number four does not have to be written in a complete sentence, but number five does. As you scroll down to the last section, you'll notice that that focuses on pyramids. Again, you can click that link and open that information. It is a short reading passage that has um, specific answers within that reading passage. So notice that the directions for this part tell you to answer the following questions using a complete sentence. So question number six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 all need to be written using a full uh, sentence. 